I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's check out Cat Lateral Damages PSVR mode. So I'm adjusting my headset a little bit here. Um, this is the first time I've tried a few different things in VR all at once, actually, so it might be a teeny bit awkward, but. Uh, um, one note this game, the it requires two moves to play the VR mode, and the moves don't work on this menu, so you have to start it with a DS4, which is annoying. So I've got. Juggle some controllers while well blind here. Take the headset. I, I guess you're supposed to enter the game out of VR and, you know, just put on the headset now, but that's silly. I, I tend to, you know, all or nothing. So let's calibrate. Press start button now. Alright, go be a cat. I am a cat. I am a cat! Alright. Select cat. Turn left. Turn right. What do you mean select cat? That's a, that's a pretty good cat. Let's be the closest one to Parker. <laughs> Who's this? Fart Cat! Fart Cat is a good cat. Mitten! Marrow. Maya! Aww. Exor. Chase. Chirps! Wednesday. Oh, these were kit Kickstarter things. Oh, I got, I got blue pod nodules. Miku! I've got... Huh. Rufus! I didn't realize there were all of these cats. Mago? Koran! Uh, Parker doesn't... wait. Yeah, it's pretty... Let's see if this other one was... I think the other one. Do it have white pop hats? Or pink? Weird. Why are my pop hats, like, bluish? Whatever. We'll, we'll be Parker today. Hey, Epi. Uh, oh, I think litter box is the sandbox mode. Excellent. The true cat-like way to select things. So I might screw some stuff up because this is my first time trying to record PSVR stuff, and it's a little. Oh, I got a, I got a watch. Why do a cat? Why does a cat have a watch? Why does God need a starship? Um. So, I'm a cat. I actually feel really tall. Hold on. I think it's there. That's better. Alright. Um, so this is my first time using a game that teleports. And... I don't want to step too far, actually. Um, oops, I teleported. I've never used the teleport control scheme before, other than just to briefly test this out. Why do I apply so little force? Get out of here. There you go! Now, I've never tried room scale ish stuff before. <laughs> um, let me make sure I'm not turning. I'm turning again. So the problem I had when testing this was I would constantly turn around and end up with like the move controllers behind me and stuff, and that, you know, obviously they can't track that. What you're supposed to do is turn in game with the turn buttons. Get out of here. Get out of here! You books! I can't read! Get out of here! Oh, my arm. I think it was getting blocked by something. I'm in the play area! Calm down. Where am I? Oh, I'm stepping out. Yeah, that, it's so, like, you, you forget you're in a game and you start walking. I mean, it works, but, you know, you're in a limited play space and you gotta kinda remind yourself not to do that. Get out of here, black stock. Fairly low amount of stuff to break in here. Let's get up there. I'm not used to this new world of teleporting cat physics. I'm pretty sure this is how real cats really work. I do like having your paws in VR. It's it's stupid, but it like really feels neat. You're not a cat. Um to be able to see either the controller or your hands in game feels really neat. Get, get down. It's indestructible. Oh, oh, I see. I see what I gotta do. Now let me teleport, like right there. Mana from heaven has approached. Ah oh, yes. Oh, it's in my face. Okay, I think I need to move back a bit. My headphones are catching. I'm a little bit too far. I think I should just teleport. I it's. Oh. Alright, let me 
get oriented here. Weird. You turned it like less than a 90 degree angle. Why can't I teleport there? It's because that stuff is there? That sucks. I wanna. I wanna. Come here. Ah. Why must you be just out of reach? I kind of wish there was some like inch forward method. Here we. Ah. I swear it's just teleporting me a little further away. Get out of the way! I want the. Give me the thing! Aw, oh, come on, pause. Am I out of the range or something? What's going on? I think I'm reaching too high. Come on, get down here. Aw, oh, can I take a dump? Aw, oh, it's not really digging. You just kind of hit it. Wait, can I do it from the toilet, maybe? Aw, oh, yes! Aw, oh, no. Get a little bit closer, kitty. Aw, oh, is it out? Did I run out of toilet paper? I guess that's why it wasn't working. It's out. It doesn't look out, though. What is... Whatever. Let's see what else there is to destroy. See, I have never recorded in VR before. Is there other rooms? Must be right. Yeah. I'll go in. Oh. Doors open this way. All right. What's in here to break? Ah, oh, yes. Get out of here, Pan. Get out of here. Calm, calm down. I figured standing up with this would be better, but I keep turning around instead of using the turn function. Let's get a little closer. That's better. See, when I'm facing the camera, as all is expected... Oops, I telefragged it. Beautiful. It's definitely a new thing to learn how all this works. <laughs> um, you gotta try to remember that you need to turn in virtual space. I. I can definitely see why room scale is important. I'm just gonna telefrag this. Get out of here! I do wish there was some method of inching that I. I guess teleporting is your inching. Get out of here, bamboo. I actually had some bamboo, and Parker kept eating it. I'm sure he's around here somewhere mocking me. He's probably using me playing this game as an opportunity to go, like, break things in real life. You disrespect my people with this game? I will show you what cats do. I'll destroy everything. Aw, oh, plates! Let me get in there. Let me get in there! Aw, oh, come on! You can't do this to me, bro. I'm gonna go break, break the plates! Aw, oh, come on! Whatever, I'll break these instead. Get out of here. beautiful. What's weird is the headset tracks really well, even when it's, you know, saying it's out of the play area. The moves kind of don't. The moves seem to flip out a bit once they're totally out of the play area. Because the, the way the move actually works, it has these, um, it has gyros inside it, but it uses the light ball to reset itself all the time. So it'll work out of the camera, but it'll, if it gets off, it has nothing to do. I've seen some games in, like, Octodad, it really doesn't matter if you go out of the tracking, um, in my experience, but in this it matters a lot more. I guess maybe this is a lot more precise tracking. Uh-oh. I don't think I broke something in real life. Oh, there's Parker. Get out of here. Woo! Video James! Let's break them. Get out of here! Sega for life! I don't even know what this is, but I'm gonna break it. Oh, am I... I'm turned around. Okay. Gotta... Alright. Be the cat. Be the cat. 
Can I? Why can I move the TV more than I can move those books earlier? Alright, this isn't gonna work this way. I need to get behind it. Get out of here, Sega Tapes. Who needs four NES controllers? Did it? I guess it had a multi tap, didn't it? Yeah, I'm reaching a little bit too low. I didn't really set up for this too properly, so it's not entirely the game's fault, but uh, probably does work a bit better in Vive, but that's like $800? Which is more than I paid for this plus the PS4, so. Get out of here, Atari controller. Why do I have NES and Atari? Get out of here. I gotta say, the 60 frames was like, actually, I don't know what resolution or frame rate this game runs at, but uh, I found the 60 FPS games like Drive Club VR still work really well. Oh, it's time. Aw, oh, no! Don't tell me I'm not a player, yeah? Yeah! Yeah! Aw, oh, damn it. It is definitely weird to not be able to, like, move as much. Um, I think I'm turned around. Yeah, I'm turned around. Alright. Woosa. Woosa. <laughs> it's the Able Gamers uh, trophy thing. Let's just break that casually. I'm not used to being this small in VR, which is another thing. Like, I'm used to being, like, human-sized, and, you know, just peeking over an edge would be a lot easier at human size. But at the other side of things... Aw, oh, yes! Scratch it! Scratch into the sky! Aw, oh, yes! Um, lost my train of thought. Being small is, like, actually really cool, too. Alright, hold on, I gotta finish the job. Oh, I actually kind of put it back where it was. Uh, let's try that again. I wish there was some kind of, like, I don't know, I feel like every time I teleport that I am, um, kind of facing the wrong direction. I wish there was, like, left toggle, like, I wish teleporting from the left paw made me face this way, and teleporting from the right paw made me face, like, this way, the way that I am faced, like, turned 180 degrees. Because, like, half the time, oh, oh, hell yes. My day has come. Where'd the ball go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Get back here. Why does it stop? I have a real one of these. It doesn't stop that easy. It rolls all the way around. I don't think it's physics work quite right. Like, I think it's getting caught on... Like, it's all jaggedy. It needs, like, lower weight or something. I don't know. I don't really work with physics stuff in games. I do other programming stuff. What is this? What is this? What is this beautiful curiosity? What do I do with it? I love my levitating powers. Am I supposed to just go in this and roll it around? Uh, I was expecting it to like roll around with me, but I guess maybe that would be like nausea inducing. Which I really haven't found anything. Even stuff I would have figured would be for sure nausea. I really haven't felt even a twinge of it since doing all this stuff. I, I've flinched when stuff feels like it's about to hit my face, but that's about it. It's really not nausea, it's just, you know, you flinch because you think, you know, something's gonna hit your eyes, and hitting your eyes generally is not good for them. Get out of here. Hello, Parker! I'm emulating your people! <laughs> I can't see him, but I can hear him. He freaking bit my leg while I was in VR. I forget what I was playing. I think I was playing Super Hypercube or something. And then suddenly something bites my freaking leg! Yes, yes, that was you, Parker. Hey, Freddy, or whichever cat this was. Um, Millie! Bye, Millie. Um, get out of here, destructoid robot. I have no idea how wavy this looks on the on the recording screen, honestly. Sorry about that. Like I said, this is my first time really recording VR. I did that first impressions video, and I deliberately did games that didn't really move the camera too much. Building bashers! Get out of here. 
There we go. The gentle scoop does not work quite as well as I would have thought, but... Ugh. It's gonna teleport. There you go. I'm not used to the teleporting paradigm at all, honestly. Uh, I'm getting a better at it, but... I forgot this game worked like that. Honestly, in rigs, I did not find no I didn't get nauseous even in rigs. But I guess maybe it's because you're piloting a mech instead of like walking, you know, just with your own legs via an analog stick. That would probably be weird. I don't know. This is all still new, but uh, it's pretty cool. What is this sparkle? Can I break this? It doesn't seem like I can break it. I think I'm. Wait. I think yeah, I turned around again. <laughs> oh, and I'm playing with my glasses today. I, uh, you have to zoom out the scope a little bit more, but, um, I don't think I can break this for anything. Let's just jump in the spot. Oh, I telefragged it. Oh, food! Hell yeah! Get some of that delicious water. Oh, I'm vibrating in a way with my paws. Can I dip my paw? I wish you could, like, dip your paw in there and, like, drink it. Like, that's something you can do in Job Sim, is, like, you can grab, like, a, uh, thing. Oh, that's another thing. I wish you could grab, like, press a button and hold stuff. What are you doing, Parker? Alright, I think this is... I think the camera's this way, right? Litter box about 55. Wow, you have to destroy a lot of things. Or is that, like, destroy everything in the world? Also, interesting thing in VR, text kind of looks uglier than other stuff. Like, I noticed the aliasing a lot with text. Not so much, not as much with other stuff. Like, it's there. The resolution isn't, like, super crazy amazo, but, uh, it's serviceable, and, um... But for some reason, text, just, like... I don't know, if you're a VR developer, I would... I would recommend, like, not having excessive text. Oh! Ooh! Mana from heaven. Ah, oh, yes! Paw, calm down. Yes! This is what it is to be cat. I don't remember the music being this good in this, but uh, I just played the alpha, I guess. I haven't really played it since release, honestly. Yeah, you definitely turn less than 180 er, 90 degrees each time. Beautiful. Can't jump out the window. The out of play area, am I? Or am I? Or start button. You can hold the start button at any time, or the options button, to reset your thing or dinger position. Open this. Oh! I don't think I'm supposed to be able to teleport in here. Yeah, I definitely teleported inside. That's fine. Cats can do that. When you can never find your cat, that's what they've done. They've teleported inside of a closet. It's, you know, it's typical cat stuff. Can I open these? I guess not. Alright, how do I... how do I exit this? Hmm. I have no idea how to exit this mode. I would've figured it'd be triangle. Oh! You hold the X button, okay. I would've figured triangle or circle, but whatever. Alright. Let's take a look at... I don't think I'm gonna do too well in objective mode in VR. Let's try it. Further back than my mic than usual, so I hope the audio isn't too weird. But I don't know. I probably shouldn't have picked a room scale ish game to do first. Get out of here. Um, but like I said, this was four bucks in that flash sale, and I really wanted to try it. And I wanted to show it off before the flash sale's over, at least, so. And of course, there's this is just the VR mode. The game wasn't really designed with VR in mind. So, you know, this is just a bonus. But if you got a PSVR and, you know, you want to try it, it's, I mean, four bucks. And uh, the original mode is really fun. And you play with, you know, just a controller. I was actually enjoying it in VR just while playing it on the cinema screen. Like, when you, uh... Let's show that. Um, when you just, like... I think I'm out of... Alignment again. I'm, I'm used to sitting down, and I keep turning in real life. 
Because, I mean, it works, but then you end up eventually out of alignment. That's why I can definitely see why Vive has the, you know, the two sensors at either side of the room. I still want a Vive, but not $800 want. Um, I do have a GPU now, so it's like, I was worried that the Vive's going to cost, like, I think, like, 1400 bucks total if you needed, you know, a good last-gen GPU um, for it, but it's a lot cheaper this gen. But yeah, the cinema mode is basically this, where, you know, you can look around. It's like just having a big old frickin' screen. And, uh, it's still pretty fun to play games like that, like even 2D stuff. You can play any game in this. And in fact, you can play more than any game on PS4. Um, you can input, like, your Wii U, your Xbox One, uh, any HDMI input. You can just plug it into the, the processing box, and it'll show up in the, uh, I mean, it won't be real VR, and, you know, you won't be able to, like, do this and, like, move in and out. But it'll show you that cinema screen of, you know, of anything. Um, so that's pretty cool. So if you don't have a big TV, and do you want a feature like that, it's, you know, it's an option. I wouldn't buy a PSVR just for that, but I mean, if you got a PS4 and you want... My... Hold on. Oh, I'm a little... Oh, boy. Like I said, sitting... It's definitely designed for a sitting experience, and it works really well that way. But, um, I always wanted to try this out, so, <laughs> um, sleepy scary cat, um, I'm turning in real life again, and turning in real life works really well in games that are like tunnel vision, like super hypercube, like that works really well, like everything's well designed for a sitting position, and, uh, I'm sure most Oculus games are designed for a sitting position, but, um, Room scale is kind of the one thing that PSVR is kind of a little bit less good at. Can I get it in the box? Oh no! It's closed! Oh wait. I forgot this was objective mode. Let's... Yeah, let's try to beat the first level of objective mode in VR. Get out of here. Yeah, I really love... I, I guess I haven't talked about this game itself too much, just the VR mode. Um, I did do a video of the... back when it was on, on Kickstarter. I don't think that counted as breaking. Um, let's break those. That looks like a bunch of free points. Come on. Um, yeah, I really love the art style, and the music's quite good too. I forgot about the music. It's just got this lovely Katamari low poly tune shader thing going on. I'm, I'm, I'm back to the default cat. I wanted to be Parker. They got a good variety of cats. There was like a Maine Coon, there was a bunch of like. Let's telefrag these. Get out of here. It's... Even in its like slightly like buggy tracky state, like see it's working fine now that I'm like standing still and calming down and using the teleport. You know, I'm sure there's a bunch of dumb stuff that's happened in this that's you know my own dumb fault. Um, let's see how many. Oh! We're getting close. But I can definitely see how the Vive would have a lot of advantages in this situation. But, uh... This is still really fun. And, uh, most of the experiences, you know, a lot of- most of the stuff... This and, um, Job Sim are actually the first games I played that- oh! Bonus! What do I do? Oh, press X to continue? Okay. Um... Most of the games work in a sitting position with a controller, and it still feels really great. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, I, I saw a lot of stuff saying, like, oh, it's not it's not real VR tap tap, you know? Oh, we're in a cabin. I didn't know we had, like, levels like this. Who, who brings a cat with them in a log cabin? It's, it's Isaac! Let's go break Isaac. He's used to it. It'll be fine. Hey, Isaac. Oh my gosh, he cries! <laughs> I'm sorry, Isaac. It had to be this way. Repent for your sins, Isaac. Oh, Isaac! Isaac! Oh, I can't do mom's voice at all. That's amazing. Um, I guess let's break these. It's also kind of effective to telefrag things. Because then you know you're in range. Like, your range, your paw range is pretty low, which makes sense because you're a cat, but it's a little 
it's a little frustrating at the same time, because you're trying to play, like, sort of without moving too much, because you don't want to get out of range. I also didn't really plan out, like, I've got... I only really have a few feet either way. This is just kind of where my chair usually is at my desk, because I was trying to set this up so it would be a little, a little easier to record. What is the fun if you don't get to watch the fall? And that's something I really like. Is you can just peek over the edge. Like, this is magical. Calm yourself. I'm, you're still tracking fine. Like, that's what... It's like, wh why? I'm tracking. Oh, what is that? Monkey dude? Hey there, monkey dude. Your awesome friend, monkey dude. Is this the balloons monkey? Nah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Get out of here. It's on the floor now, that's what that is. Is that me? I think that was me. It didn't sound like Parker. Turn with the thing. See, it's going better, I think. I just didn't know what I was doing at the start of the video. Yes, that's right, Parker! I'm dumb! Get out of here, bag. What is this? I want to see this before I destroy it. I really wish there was a grab button. Aw, oh, that's what that is. Alright, get out of here. Can I teleport? Yes! I want to watch this fall. See, that's that's the magic sensation. Just looking over the edge. Also, I, I have no idea how this looks on the social screen. Which is what I record. The way that the, the social screen works is that it output, still outputs to your TV when you're playing PSVR. Um, I think what it does is it takes one eye's output and it de-distorts it, or re-distorts it, probably, and, um, you know, it makes it look like a 2D image. Um, it's lower quality than what I see inside the headset, um, but you're watching on YouTube, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't think it makes that much of a difference, especially not with a game that looks like this, you know. Bright, solid colors. Um, the realistic games would suffer a bit more. I don't really find it does the best for realistic. I like I I want more cartoony games in it. I want more cartoony games in general. But um, I lost track of what I was trying to say here. This one's a hard one. There's not really tons of stuff altogether. Um, get out of here. Hmm. Ooh ooh. This is what it really is like to be a cat. Because I see a bunch of stuff, I'm like, aw, yes! Let's, let's wreck that! Beautiful. Get out of here, Cookie. I can't eat you! I can't eat you! I can't even taste sweet, you know that? At least I think they can't. Oh, it's your pawn, I guess. Oh, is that a, co is that a coaster or a cookie? Can't really tell. I think I'm off track again. Let's do this. I'm not sure why, it, when you hold start, it like puts your paws together for some reason. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, the social screen. So yeah, what you see, it's not quite as good, and I hope it's not like vibrating around too much. Like, everything I see is of course like, you know, when I move around, it works like, it just looks like I'm seeing what I would see if I was really there. I'm not really sure how the social screen looks too much, because I played last night, I intentionally played some, you know, tunnel vision games. That uh, those work just fine in the, on the social screen. Oh, I meant to go on the table. That's oh, a little cat bed. I'm not used to aiming this teleporting thing. It seems a bit fiddlier than it should be. The teleportation. Let's break these. I mean, can't really break them, but knock them off at least. Oh, that's a good one. Bye bye. I guess I'll try to finish this one level. Oh, I want those plates. Can I get the plates? Let me in the plates, bro! Oh, you can't do this to me. You can't give me plates and be like, no, I can't you can't break those plates. What is the point of plates if not breaking them? What, I ask. None. There's none points to plates. That cannot be broken. 
You would think teleporting inside solid objects would be weird, but for some reason it isn't. It is a little weird when the thing is gonna like hit me in the face. Um, you still get that reflex. Sometimes he just applies a little force, and I don't get why. Whatever. Oh, am I... Yeah, I'm all turned around again. <laughs> this doesn't happen when you're doing sitting VR. Um, obviously. I'm just so not used to this yet, but... Uh, it's still pretty fun. Even with my paw floating off into space. I don't know why just the left paw seems to do that. Oh man, I'm so close. Arg. I really wish it was less picky with letting me teleport around. I'm turning in real life again, this is bad. Let me... There, I think. So when I play with my glasses, I just have to have the scope moved out a bit more. <sighs> that thing is real frustrating. The, uh... Paw. What are my paws doing? Paws. Paws. Am I... Oh, Parker! Parker's obscuring the camera! I'm actually amazed it's working as well as it is. Parker, get down! Okay, I think he's down. I can't freaking see, but I think he's down. I should have known that Parker would eventually disrupt. Huh? Hey, whoa! Eight, eight things. I gotta break eight things. Break everything! Ah! Are you not broken? Are you not entertained? Get, get out of here! Uh, 999 nine, nine, Get off! Get, get down! Get off! Yes! Whew! That was intense. Alright, let's take a look at the next level, and I'm not I'm not gonna complete it though. Alright, I might I think I've turned around. I, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna look around a bit. Oh, it's very purple. Hello, purple. It's been a while. Let's just warp around a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, really. It's a bit buggy, but I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. I think... I think with, you know, 20 minutes to a half hour under my belt, I would have done. Not screwed up some of the stuff I did earlier. But, uh... Sometimes the... I don't know, the physics do seem a bit weird in VR. Like, I have so much trouble moving certain things that I really don't in the normal mode. Uh, but like I said, this game wasn't designed, like, to be VR. This is, like, you know, a bonus mode. Uh, the main game is, you know, focused on 2D, you know, controller play. And it's really fun! Um, I might do another video where I just play, you know, the normal mode. But I already did, a, you know, a playthrough of the... The Kickstarter version. Or the Kickstarter, like, beta thing. Or more like pre alpha or whatever, but, uh. Yeah, this is Cat Lateral Damage VR. Let's. How do I go back again? Hey, yeah, there we go. For some reason, 3D. Text in 3D looks fine, but. I don't know, like, menu text looks a little worse. My options again. Into box mode, into box all select. Oh! A little closer. <laughs> ah, paw? Come on. Am I. I think I'm getting out of range. I think my, my problem is my camera is like. like maybe three, four feet away, and I kinda. There's better rooms I could be doing this in. But the camera cable is kind of short, so it's hard to do things without moving the PS4 itself, which I didn't really want to do just to record stuff. Um, I mean, if it's a big problem, I can and will change it, but, um... Does that count? Get out of here. So I guess that goes back to the normal non-VR mode? Yeah, there we go. Well, I guess it doesn't record in VR? Well... I think it, I think it can record in VR. It can do screenshots in VR for sure. I think you can record in VR. Um, I was gonna say something, and I forgot it. Oh, no. 
problem. Oh yeah, but so the the USB the ca the PS4 camera it is USB, but it uses this weird pr um, proprietary connector, and it's like just a slightly messed up USB. And I think that what they wanted to do was like you could connect the camera without using a USB port because I mean it has a dedicated port, but um, it kind of just means that it's really hard because you can't like extend it because it's its own weird thing. I think I imagine at some point there will be a um, some way to connect it, um, but um, like there's probably somebody that can make a third party like connector. Because I would just like to be able to use a USB extender, to, you know, to make things easier. So, yeah, let's take this off. Yeah, that was really fun. I don't... Oh, cool. The screen is actually stable. I was expecting it to be all weird since I was taking off the headset. But, uh... I guess because I exited the VR mode, it's all normal. I think it's just... It looks like, v like, it looks like a cinema screen when I'm in the headset, but I guess it's just outputting the standard 2D thing. But yeah, that was the cat lateral damage VR mode. Sort of my first attempt at it.